My Nook from Poems by Nora May French Read for LibriVox.org by Shiloh Fusello My Nook Oh, halfway up the hill it was, where one might sit leaf-hidden, And stare across the canyon depths to distant miles of blue, Upon the little path to it no foot might step unbidden, It was my nook, and mine alone, and not another knew. And when my doll was sawdust, or my little hopes were fated, Or all my world was shaken by a little idol's fall, up to my dear retreat I'd climb, with grief or anger waited, And hands behind fern-pillowed head, straight away forget it all. With tears yet damp upon my cheeks, I'd fall to castle-building, The careless linnets fluttered near a little maid so still. And all the gorgeous tints I knew, and all the wealth of gilding, Were lavished on the future that I summoned there at will. When one is small, the troubles come, and then the tears must follow when one is small one finds it good to run and cry alone but i shall laugh to think that once i found my world so hollow i shall not need this little nook i thought when i am grown now heart whose voice i drown by day to hear in hours of waking now eyes whose tears must burn the more because they may not flow from sight of face or sound of speech, if I could bear your aching, and bury it deep hidden in the ferns of long ago. But, oh, the pensive little ghost, among her visions sitting, would view her weeping future with so piteous surprise. No, I must leave her in her nook to dream her dreams unwitting. I could not take my troubles there. I could not meet her eyes. Footnote my nook was written at the age of sixteen end of poem